Desecrated. With a rage I've rarely seen. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's level 90, so... Yeah, and you're what, 27 or something? <laughs> yeah. You're 29. Little, you're a little under level for her. A little bit. A little bit. Alright, let's head home. Which is weird, because it says this area is suggested level 20, and she's in it. I can upgrade the Hidden Ones Bureau. At least stable and aviary. Hello there, friend. Can you remind me what you do here? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? <laughs> okay. I must take my leave. So long. Don't be a stranger. I have a little loading icon there. Yeah, dude, tattoo shop, hell. That's a damn fine stable we have now. Lord. Look at it. How did you come to have such an affinity for horses, Rowan? They were my best friends growing up. I was a sickly boy with a stammer, and the horses were the only ones who never teased me. Over time, I suppose I came to understand them as well as you may understand people. I listen when they speak, and vice versa. Tell me about what you do here. As a stable hand and a gameskeeper, I am happy to help you with any matter concerning your horses or your raven. May I see your stores? Ah. Palmers. Parsifal. Parsifal. Ringolet. Ebelard. Otherwise known as Winston. Winston, Winston, and Winston. Winston just has different shirts on. Yeah, he's got different shirts. Yeah, exactly. I mean different colors, too. No, no, it's a shirt. It's a shirt. It's just well, skin tight. It's, it's, it's like Under Armour. Oh, okay. Do you need anything else? I want trainer now. 
I'm off. Be well, friend. Take care. Mm -hmm. Mess with that later, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this costs 45. I only have 30 left. Let's go see if we can upgrade the docks. Or maybe maybe the Brotherhood place. Hello? Hi, Them. Now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. To liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. Yeah, you got a little derp face. Sorry. Yeah, dude, gotta pet a dog. All times, pet a dog. Make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Hold on, everybody. That's okay. It's okay, take your time. Uh, take your time. I'm panicked. I brought you a snack too. Oh, thank you. Here you go. You're the best. I know. You ready? Yep. I built the Assassin's Bureau and the guy said, I have a gift for you, follow me. Ooh. Let's see. <laughs> You're gonna show me that pee pee. <laughs> I hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basin. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. 
When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Are you taking me to make out? <laughs> and what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. <laughs> I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen... <laughs> I died. <laughs> yeah! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. 
Do not compare yourself to such people. The Order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Are you supposed to... I think this guy's supposed to be steering the boat right now. Messing with stuff. Poppy. I killed your straw dummy. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham. For all of this. Hello. My targets have appeared. Awesome. The Order of the Ancients is a secret society of pagans that have infiltrated every level of society to spread their dogmatic worldview. To root them out, clues can be found across the world. Zealots are hired mercenaries that assist the Order and enforce their decrees. Finding and eliminating them will provide clues on the identity of Order members. Uh, unveil and eliminate. Clues can also be earned by forging alliances, exploring England, and assisting those in need. Once all clues for a particular member are found, their identity is revealed and they can be tracked. The Hierarchy. Order members have a hierarchy system. Assassinating a Palantius or Priost will provide intel on their Magister and eventually reveal the Grand Magister of the Order. This guy's name is Poopy Face McGee. <laughs> Hunta, son of Hunta. Lof... Lofguf... I don't know... Kotva... Are you okay? 
okay, Missy? I hiccup, and when I hiccup, I inhale some bitwork. Well, that's gross. I know. Don't do that. <clears throat> I already did it. <clears throat> but yes, I'm okay. Breaking the order. Nah, dog, that would just make sense. Why would I do that? Acolyte Hytham. Uh, you do yourself a great credit in accepting Master Bassam's invitation to scour Northern Europe and cleanse it of our enemy. He has long talked of traveling north for just that purpose. Uh, that he feels now is the right time and you are the right companion is a judgment the Council does not second guess. Basim has achieved great things in his time with our Brotherhood. We expect he will achieve many more in the years to come. Heed his actions and follow his instructions, and you shall ascend to greatness. Work in the dark of oppression, serve the light of freedom, and be will mentor Rehan. Ooh, I got two skill points! called Shires. This one is called Letterchester Shire. It isn't spelled how you think. And as you suspected, the sons of Ragnar moved there some months ago. We know for sure that Ivar and Upa are alive and well in Repton. Excellent work, both of you. Now have a rest and a horn of ale. You have more than earned it. Thank you, Randvi. We'll be here if you need us. Ranvi seems in charge of the war effort. Because her icon is a map with a dagger through it, which is awesome. Hello? Yep. <clears throat> Alright, let's go talk to Sigurd. Hey, Vod! In here! Y you want to make love to me? <laughs> what will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Ooh. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Unfair. Consult Raventhorpe's status. <clears throat> Raventhorpe qualifies as a colony now, I think. No longer a ragtag assemblage of tents and muddy feet. Uh, now, uh, we're now at a point of local interest, attracting trade and new settlers. A few new possibilities have opened up to us. A tattoo and barbershop, a shipyard, a museum, a hunter's hut, a fishing hut. Of all these new services, I would recommend investing in Petra's hunting hut first. This will earn you quite a few rewards if you can track down the right beasts. We also have a few settlers looking to build some services that will help us throw bigger and wilder feasts. A bakery and a brewery! Fuck yeah! <clears throat> the bigger the feast, the better the boost of morale, ours and yours. A worthy investment. Hmm. Well, we're gonna... Fully upgrade everything, obviously. A letterbox for messages and requests. I request that big. Sorry. Read Sigurd's letter. I hope this room fits your needs as we grow our reputation in this land uh, and make new friends and allies. It will be important to keep constant communication with them. Ranvi will drop a letter you, uh, Ranvi will drop any letter you receive in this box. Have a look from time to time. You want to look at the book? Oh, no. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. Hmm, not much, but it is mine.
Yeah, yeah, we're going towards that. <laughs> on it my friend the path ahead is bright with glory at its end farewell Eivor but why now Jack please this must be done yes and I can help look at me look at these arms I am a beast <laughs> okay hold on it said I could now it won't let me walk away okay. it said pledge something yeah pledge alliance and it had the icon for his wife what was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Leicestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd. For I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dad. <laughs> you belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. But I would sooner take orders from a louse. Fuck you too, bro. <laughs> Yule season. A delicate blanket of snow has fallen over Raventhorpe, uh, and the days are at their darkest. Your clan has decorated the settlement and organized traditional Yuletide festivities to keep their spirits bright. Join the feast and have a warm and mead-filled Yule. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leicestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map, if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance. As pledges are completed the, uh, and allies are made, other territories will be made available. <clears throat> Lexion... L Shire and G Shire. Rewards, rewards give me some some stuff, and rewards give me give me some other stuff. Okay. Um. Tell me about Grandebridge. A force of Danes called the Summer Army by the Saxons is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. 
My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. The Danes? So I can go hang out with Cain? Tell me more about Letter Chestershire. I should like to join Sigurd soon. He traveled to a town called Repton to meet Uba and Eva Ragnarsson. As I hear it, they are on the verge of exiling the current King of Mercia with the hope of installing a king of their own. A bold endeavor. I should be there to help, however I can. I think you should. Hmm. I won't keep them waiting. Good. I will send word to Sigurd and the Ragnarsons, pledging your assistance. If I were you, I would go by ship. Repton is quite a distance north on the River Trent. You're the, the River Thames. Anima score. You received 300 Helix credits. Spend them on something that faded away before I could read it. Oh no, I'm still far from it. Uh, more assassination damage. That's more stealth damage. What is this? Evasion. Bird stuff. <laughs> bird stuff. It's called bird stuff. Okay. All right. Um. Nope, that's the wrong button. I know! Me too! Letter... Let... Let... Letter Chestershire? Man. British words, right? Find all codex pages. That's literally under... <laughs> like, no. Find and kill the members of the Order. No. Yule Festival. Has 16 days remaining. Probably like a little Christmas festival. Yeah. Find event. Sons of Ragnar. Okay, so we'll go there. Oh, but the festival says you need power 33. So yeah. Well, I'm 30 now, I think. Well, not 30. Well, uh, So in 16 days, gain three what, more levels. What? In three... In 16 days, I gain three levels? Are you kidding? I only gain like three or four a day. That's not enough time. Sorry. Ugh. That ain't my problem. Can't be annoying. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's mark... We can mark three three locations, so we're gonna mark the three viewpoints and start working our way north up here. Gathering viewpoints along the way. Mm. Boppity boopy. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Let's go. Can't raise the sail yet. Sail! Catch the wind! Sail down! Let the sail out! Let's have a song! Let's hear a story. I know a crazed man about my age called Roku, 
we are taken to calling Rocker the Roan for his habit of collecting axes. For 20. You can continue later. No! <laughs> a monastery! Yeah, I, heard, I already rated that. Monastery, Avon! Right! I, I already rated that. Calm down. They're like, raid! Alright, back to the story. For 20 years, he collected axes of all make and size. He had never seen a day of battle, but he swore to Thor that he would. In his 31st year, after drinking too much ale, Rokur seduced another man's wife. That man called a Holmgang against Rokur. Rokur accepted the Holmgang, and on the agreed upon day, he laid out 12 of his axes and asked, Take the mask down. Which of these will I use to slay? Will it be bone splitter? He said, my bearded blade inscribed with Satan. Save it for later. Bro, get out of the way. Bro, get out of the way. Who the hell is this? What is this? There's a channel in Discord for funny clips. It's under Twitch clips. There's a clips channel in, in Discord. You're stupid? Well, I mean, I wasn't going to say anything. You got clips, man. Put them in there. Nice, Cappy. Yeah, please. Put a bunch of clips of me in there. Once, like, once there's a bunch of clips in there, I'll, I'm gonna try to put them all together. Also one over here. <laughs> God, don't lose your head. Do I not have a torch? What the hell? Can I take this? Harpoon Impalement.
Impale an enemy with your harpoon and throw them in any direction using WASD. Enemies who strike objects or other enemies will suffer massive damage. Get over here. John, how are you doing? Treasure Hunter's note, I am calling a cease to my search. There is no treasure here. I must have searched every inch of this grotto top to bottom. Someone moved it years ago. I'm certain of it. Maybe I will return to and have a look when I, with a sober eye next time. But I doubt it'll make, it'll make much difference. I thought I had muted, but sorry about that. Gross. Treasure hoard map collected. Hey. It scared the crap out of you? Well, you know. I have old man sneezes. I, I literally, I reached over and hit the hotkey to mute, and it didn't do anything. <laughs> so, sorry about that. off limits. Perhaps there's an entrance on the roof.
What'd you say? It raining? I don't know yet. We're gonna do a little poking around, see what we can find. I was thinking I needed oil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need oil for that. Viper egg.
Jump on it. <laughs> Carbon Ignos. Uh, more wealth. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's I think it's weapon or armor. I think that's what it is, as opposed to like ingots or whatever. It's actually like usable products. <laughs> this is the one where I had to figure out how to get this this door open. <laughs> and I thought I came at it from underground, but that's apparently not the case. There's that guy that can kick my ass. Kind of stay away from him. Maybe, yeah, the maybe it's a more vigilant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The other side must be barred. What did it call him? Venomous? Ridwalla, that's the that's the Templar that's running around.
What? Okay. I just dodged him as he was rushing at me. That was great. Yeah, that went that went over really well. What would have sucked is if I hadn't have dodged him, he would have grabbed me and we both would have went over. Yeah. It was nice taking out his, his helper dude before before the fight even started. That was nice. Bro, why would you do that? Shit! Have to repair that. I can't roll. What were you saying? No, I, I thought you said something before that. Maybe I can't get in there right now. Maybe I have to come back with something later. Yeah, exactly.
I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. <laughs> ah, you fool. Must I do everything? Iva's journal. Fighting is in our blood. I have known it all my life. But I've known it all my life. But my brother real. will never believe it. When, it. You said you would bring even it. when uh, mother died fool. and she revealed the Must truth I about her father, everything. she still denies it. I remember it so clearly. She lay there choking on blood after a fierce battle with one of our cows and plainly said with smoldering eyes, you are a Ragnar son. You forget the torch? As though deaf, my I brother heard you, you are a bastard son. The house, so the raid feels no, real. he will see it. Get it? You said you would bring it. He, uh, he will see fool. that it is a warrior's Must life we everything. are best suited for, not a farmer's. I will show him. We are our father's sons. Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think. How could you forget the torch? I told you we need to set fire to the house so the raid feels real. I didn't forget it. You said you would bring it. Ah, you fool! Must I do everything? Please do not distract us. We're trying to solve a problem here. We need fire to set the house ablaze. Think, think! How could you forget? I've got to move that, I guess. I don't see how I'm going to get fire around here. Alright, we'll come back to that. Maybe one of those things where it's like, you need fire arrows for this. And you've not learned the, the ability to make your own yet.
Yeah, it's that spirally looking thing. So yeah, I won't lose it or forget about it. I won't lose it. Best not to draw attention here. No, climb the stairs, bro. Come on. There you go. 